If you're looking for a metal roof, you may have come across a couple different kinds of metal roofing panels. By the end of this video, you'll know what the main types of metal roofing panels are, which requires more maintenance, which will cost less, and which will last longer. The main kinds of metal panels available on the market today are standing seam and exposed fastener, which is sometimes also known as a screw down panel. A standing seam metal roof is composed of multiple vertical metal panels that are locked in at the seams with the fasteners hidden underneath the metal. These roofs typically use a high quality steel substrate, which is a raw steel panel coated with another metal, usually zinc, or in the case of galvalume, another popular option, that would be a zinc and aluminum alloy. Generally, standing seams are kind of considered the higher end metal roof, and they're used in both residential and commercial settings. Standing seam metal roofs are highly weather resistant, making them an especially popular option for homes in coastal and rural markets, while their clean, modern look is increasing its foothold in suburban areas, especially as an accent piece. An exposed fastener roof, also known as the screw down panel roof, is a little simpler. For this roofing system, metal panels are screwed down on a roof in an overlapping fashion, similar to the way that asphalt shingles are installed. For screw down panels, many of the same materials are used, except these panels are more widely available than those used for standing seam roofs. In fact, if you wanted to purchase the metal for yourself, you probably can. You can usually find the panels at stores like Home Depot or Lowe's. This style of metal roof is more frequently used over uninhabited, unheated spaces like barns, sheds, or carports. Why not on heated spaces or homes? Well, as metal heats up and cools, it expands and contracts accordingly, which on an exposed fastener roof can create some tricky situations that we're going to talk about in the next section. Hands down, the screw down roof is going to require more maintenance than the standing seam. As we mentioned earlier, metal expands and contracts as it heats and cools, so the standing seam metal roofs are designed to allow this process to happen naturally without restricting the roof and causing damage. Exposed fastener roofs, however, greatly restrict the metal's movement, and as the metal tries to do its thing, it will fight the screws tying it down, eventually working the screws out of their holes. This means that as time goes on, you'll have to replace the screws that come free with the next size up throughout the lifetime of the roof. An additional factor that brings down the lifetime of these exposed fasteners is that they're just that, exposed. The primary thing keeping water from penetrating the roof in each screw is a gasket, which like all things will wear down over time and with some exposure. Each of these parts will need to be replaced potentially as frequently as every five to 10 years before those loose screws and degraded gaskets cause much bigger problems like a roof leak. Standing seam roofs will require some maintenance, but not nearly as much or as frequently due to the fasteners being covered and hidden away. You'll still need to have it inspected routinely, especially at any penetrations in the roof, but for the most part, you'll be just fine by keeping it clean. When it comes to price, exposed fastener roofs are much cheaper than their standing seam counterparts. Typically, they'll cost $4 to $6 per square foot, while a standing seam panel can cost $12 to $16 per square foot, depending on the size and complexity of the roof in question. A main reason for that lower price up front is that the metal panels used are typically wider than standing seam panels, allowing them to cover more space on the roof with less material. They're also thinner, so the panel requires less metal material to cover that area. The sacrifice you make for that price, however, is durability. In the long run, keeping an exposed fastener roof in good condition can be a headache and might get pretty costly. Another factor is the difficulty of the standing seam installation process. Performing one of these installations is much more complicated than a screw down or an asphalt shingle roof, so it requires a specialized, highly trained crew to complete the job correctly. Always make sure your contractor has experience installing whatever system that you've chosen for your roof, as an improper installation can leave you looking for another new roof in a hurry. As with the maintenance category, the durability of the standing seam roof wins out in longevity. The thicker, generally higher quality material and hidden fasteners allow for this roof to last several decades when installed properly, easily outliving an exposed fastener roof and asphalt shingle roofs. That being said, no roof is perfect. Sanding seam roofs may face an issue known as oil canning. Oil canning is a visual phenomenon that makes a metal panel look distorted or wavy. 
can happen as a result of several different factors, but it's only cosmetic and it doesn't mean that something is structurally wrong with your roof. Now that you've learned about the different types of metal roofs, I hope you're starting to feel more confident in taking the next steps in your roofing process. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.